bone and pull it to wrap you. Get all green. Entering the circle, Laurel Stone and friends leading Palsbo Leikaringen. And now entering the ring, Leikaringen of Leif Erikens, Erikson. Lodge 2001. With Bill Boyd in the beginning. With Bill Boyd leading. <laughs> they are followed by Barna Leikeringen of Greater Seattle, the children's dance group. Ramona Weiratne and Eric Butterworth leading uh, Katrali Finnish folk dancers. <laughs> Seattle Scandia Spellman's Law. And they are leading Nordiska folk dancers.
Musicians playing out here, and we're especially honoring the young musicians. Lila Spellman's from the three different groups. The very first group started 40 years ago. They played their first performance at the park. That group consisted of my daughters, Elsa Rosina and Lori Lisa.
Grove and John Marchin, and longtime friend Carolyn Watt, uh, Victoria Watt. And as these things go, some of these people are still playing out here. Victoria is one of our main musicians out here today. Victoria Watt Warshaw. And I know that um, uh, Lars Anderson's daughter, Sonia, is playing with the current. <laughs> when uh, Elizabeth moved to Bainbridge Island and it got difficult to uh, uh, make the commute to Seattle for our group, which uh, practiced for 10 years at St. John Lutheran Church, and we were glad for that sponsorship. And they, uh, I called uh, David when he came back from Sweden, and I invited him to come in as our music leader. And he did a fantastic job adding children from his uh, uh, school, which was Summit K-12. And we just kept increasing and often had 21 performances. We played for festivals, dances. At one time, they were the music for Nordiska performances. And we traveled to Astoria, Oregon and up and down we played in this area for the different Swedish festivals. And probably the highlight was playing for the newly crowned Prince Carl V. Gustav, as he was crowned, he made his um, first trip to Seattle as king and brought along Queen Sophia, and we played for them at the Swedish club reception. So we've done a lot of things here, and I hope this group just keeps growing and growing and growing. Running out of flowers yet? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I know. Because it looks like it's just about done. Now they're just about finished putting the flowers on the pole. And one of the things that I want you to know is something else that happens next, just before the poll goes up, is that we've had a tradition for many years of adding a rose at the crossbar. Once upon a year, it was for a specific person, but many years ago, we realized that there are many people who are only able to be here now with us in spirit. So we've also made it a special thing uh, for someone who's contributed a lot to Scandia and been involved for a long time to be the person who has the honor of actually putting that rose on the pole. And for the last couple of years, um, Jan Carlson and I have been discussing the fact that it was going to be, it was her turn to put the rose on the pole, and as things would have it, she wasn't available to put that rose on the pole. So this year, um, she decided that because it would be a bit challenging, she wanted to have her son, who has been around all of this for many, many years. Um, he didn't manage to get here in costume today, but he, Corey Johnson, is going to be walking out now to put the rose on the pole in honor of all those who can only be with us in spirit. No well, thank you very much. He was also one of those members of the original Little Spellman Slot. So, Corey, go ahead and put that rose out there. And then we'll turn the colors in over. Pull the bow out there. Once he's done that, um, you'll see uh, the fellow with the black hat. That would be Bart.